Hi you guys, today I am super excited. Today we are taking a tour of a hidden jewel located right here in Loxahatchee, Florida. I am so excited to share this experience with you today. So behind these gates, we're going to see some amazing exotic animals and I want you to come along with me. So stay tuned, you do not want to miss today's episode. In there. You know, I totally trust him. No, no, no. <laughs> Look how he's looking. I know he wants it. He loves this thing. Meet Matea. How old is Matea? Matea was also six years old. Matea, six years old. also have these big paws and this is a semi-aquatic cat so they love to swim and that's why they have a three bedroom apartment with that pool in the middle so we got that donated last year three bedroom apartment so with a pool they're going to have webbing between their paws and they also have a nictitating uh lens over their eyes so that they can see perfectly underwater and they hunt a little bit different than other big cats where other big cats are gonna um, suffocate their prey and go for the neck and the jugular, they're just gonna go to the back of the head and they're gonna crush their um, prey. And that's because they have the strongest bite force of any of the cats. So where we have a bite force of about 125 to 130 PSIs, their bite force, can you lay down? Thank you. Their bite force is about 2,000 PSIs. And to give you an idea, a lion or a tiger's is just over 1,000. So they're just eating machines. They are crunchy machines. So I, um, while I will pet his head, if he head butts me, I will not stick my fingers in there because your fingers kind of look a little bit like a chicken neck. And that is one of their favorite foods too. So if you look at them up on um, videos, you'll see them um, going right into those rivers and streams and they're gonna go for their favorite meal, which is a caiman. They're gonna go right to the back of the head. They're gonna crush their prey and they're just gonna pull it right out. So. Um, wow. They're just really cool cats. This is the one cat, so I say you're going to be fight or flight. So where your um, your Florida Panther Cougar is going to be a flight cat, this is going to be a fight cat. So this is one that you don't want to meet head on um, in the wild. Uh, they pretty much go where they want, and they're just crunching, eating machines, just like that. Wow. You know eat it? No. <laughs> You guys, I cannot believe I am inside Panther Ridge watering the grass for the Panthers. This is absolutely amazing. Come on, Come on, oh my goodness, her color. I mean, you would think that she's all black, but she's not. Wow. No. Misha is a little bit over a year. She's adorable. Baby, I hear you. I got none of that behavior. 
Wow. Beautiful. A little more. I think that like here is a safe spot. Thank you for sharing them with us. Aren't they adorable? Aww. And she's taking care of them. Leopard, it's going to be more closed in. They're not going to have those little mm -hmm. dots in the middle. Not to mention they look completely different because they're very beefy and mm -hmm. they have a wider face. Leopards yeah. are more thin and streamlined. Yeah, I've never seen them up close. This is so cool. And she's, she's like a... Tiger. What is the life of the jaguar? Same. They're lucky to make 10 years, but we can almost double it in captivity. And it, it's all, it has to do with genetics and captivity, um, whether they have... Uh, genetic predisposition for any um, health issues. She loves that. You blowing bubbles. That's her toy. Oh, she's beautiful. Look at that. Ooh, what is it? That's a box. You can tell I can't draw Ooh. or paint. But that was a gift to you. Your special girl. Uh-huh. Snip it. <laughs> Snip it. It's good stuff, no? No. She just had a rat. She's full. Aww. <laughs> she said, thanks. Um, Romania, over in Europe. Uh -huh. These guys are actually going to be the largest of the lynx subspecies. So as you can see, she's got that signature bob tail. She's got those tufts on the tips of her ears that's going to help enhance her hearing. And her feet are huge, and that's going to act as snowshoes. So she's going to be shoes. in some colder environments. <gasps> Aww. How big does she get? So she'll probably be about 40 to 50 oh, pounds, full grown. Be hot. Hi. Hi. You can sit in the shade because you're like baking in the sun. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> hey, come here. Let's play with the toy on our hands. Okay. Yep. <laughs> oh my goodness. And she's got two white spots behind her ears. You guys want to think, guess what those are for? The hide? No? Exactly. It is a kind of a uh, defense mechanism now. So when she's laying down from the back, it looks like eyes in the back of her head. Oh. So no other predator sneak up on her. Well, that's so really cool. That's why he's playing with them. You got it. You got it. And she also has facial rough. All right, you guys. Today was simply amazing. Simply amazing. Um, inside of Panther Ridge, they have over 20... Um, large cats that represents nine species. Um, they're absolutely gorgeous. Um, everything is a 501c3, so every tour, every donation, every shirt, every bear that you purchase, it goes back to take care of the animals. Everyone here is a volunteer besides two people. Everyone on the board of directors, the volunteers that's here all day, they do not earn any money at all. Um, so it was really nice. How can you give to this organization? Go onto their website, Panther Ridge Conservation Center. They are taking office supplies, and I'm so hot. They're taking office supplies and perfumes that you may not ever use. Um, there's a list of stuff. Um, you can even buy toys for the panthers and the cheetahs. So go online. Also, too, if this is something that you may be interested in, go online. They have opportunities for internship for that individual that really want to learn everything that they can to be a, a key 
keeper. So today was amazing. It was a great experience to join in and touch the animals and help clean up the cages. And it was good. I even watched them eat a frozen rat. So I hope I showed you a little bit about Panther Ridge. Please feel free to go on their website, go on their Instagram channel, find out more about them and donate. And if you're in Loxahatchee, feel free to join them and come by and see. All of the tours and everything is for a worthy cause. Bye you guys to the next video.